Uh, the realest shit I ever wrote. The king of the jungle. When I spin that revolver, the world start evolving. Start popping these niggas and bitches start talking. My bullet be tripping that white nigga falling. Got rid of them pistols we using too often. Street getting cold, so we save up for coughing. The bullet got cold, that white nigga start coughing. I hopped the gate when I heard Walker talking. The pistol hot, we compete him with coffee. Sun does, suck a nigga dick or something. These nigga better start running then. Can't run from that cheetah, it come, man. That was the realest shit. No, I really went through that. That's an ideology I had created. You know, I created that when I was like eight or something. You know, it's just challenging and questioning everything. You know, everything, you don't know everything. It's always an, another answer to something. It's just basically seeking, seeking the truth. And the upside down cross, uh, Christianity, that was forced on my ancestors, you know? So, just want to find out the truth. Everything, you don't know everything, so. It's basically unknown. You know, I'm not demonic at all, man. I'm a very positive person, man. I help a lot of people. I don't do stuff on cameras like that because I do it out the kindness of my heart. But you know, I, I, I really don't believe in the devil. You know what I'm saying? You know, I stay positive. I believe there's higher, higher beings, but it's always questionable, questioning things, you know? But the unknownism, man, it's just, just challenging your mind. Think outside the box, always questioning things. You know, I always look at things two-sided or multiple ways. Why this, why that? You know, Christianity, that was forced on my ancestors. You know, KKK, that's a hateful people. I, I, I don't, I, I, racism is just stupid to me. You know, I, I don't see how you can hate people over a color, skin color. But KKK, you know, they go by Christianity. They used to burn a, the crosses on uh, black people's lawns and all that type of stuff. So, man, you know, I'm about unifying the people, just like Naruto, peace with everybody. It's just about seeking the truth. Unknownism isn't just for black people. You know, 666, that's, that's an everyman, carbon. You know what I'm saying? 666, that's carbon. That, that's an everybody, you know? You know, and uh, carbon helps make melanin, and we have melanin in us. And uh, people skin, skin like me, but 666, carbon is everything, you know? It's, it's matter, you know, it's every everything. So everybody can be 666 unknownism. It's just freely thinking. That's why you always keep a positive mindset. Laws of attraction, the universal laws. I picked up that book, but I've been new about the laws of attraction. Just like when you think about somebody, you see them at a grocery store. Laws of attraction. So if you think positive, positive things go come to you. You know, I'm not a devil worshiper or nothing like that. And people, would try to discredit me because I wear, wear this and give all that credit to the devil. But nah, that's that's kind of bird brain to me. Uh, shit, man, I was really running the streets, getting money and shit, doing what I had to do to get some money. And when all my, my, my little partners and shit got locked up, I had got a job at Dick's in the airport, shit. But that shit ain't last long, you know? I ain't really care for jobs. Nah, was, nah, that wasn't for me. I knew my life wasn't destined to have a nine to five. You know, I knew it was more to life than that. Oh, when, I, when I first got my big paycheck from music, I took all my, my partners and shit. I took them to go get some shoes and ordered them some clothes and all that type of stuff. I ain't really spend no, no big money except for my jewelry, chains and shit. Uh, my favorite cartoon character is Riley of Boondocks, you know. He just wild. I like I like Riley a lot. He be turned up. Uh I, I think he was selling cookies or something. Cookies or something. And he just got them going off and stuff like that. He always got some funny moments though. I like Riley. Fuck them cheap ass cigars. 
Fuck your yuck mouth teeth. Fuck your hair piece. Fuck your chocolate. Fuck Guy Ritchie. Fuck Prince William. Fuck the Queen. This is America. My president is black and my Lambo is blue, nigga. Now get the fuck out my hotel room. And if I see you in the street, I'm slapping the shit out of you. Uh, my favorite anime, I like uh, Death Note, Naruto, uh, Bleach. You know, I love all that shit. Ichigo, love Bleach. Uh, my cousin, he was real deep into Dragon Ball. I, I looked at it a little bit. You know, I, I used to watch it a little bit, but I wasn't a super fan of Dragon Ball Z. I had a couple of toys and stuff like that, but not like Naruto and shit like that. Uh, man, try to make peace. You know, that was the goal at the end of the day, for everybody to be peace, peaceful with each other. So I took that from Naruto, and he was a leader. You know, he went through a lot of stuff in the beginning phases. You know, a lot of people teased him and stuff like that. So, and he came out on top as a hero. So I took that from Naruto. Uh, the mo most romantic thing. Mm, what I done did? I remember I wrote this girl a uh, love letter in third grade. She was moving to uh, St. Louis. I wrote her a love letter and gave her a gift box because she was moving. So that was kind of romantic. Man, I love women a lot. You know, without this, without women, I, I believe it wouldn't be no man, you know? Uh, we really need women. Women can do without us, but we can't do without women. You know, just like the special little things they do for you. People shouldn't be putting their hands on women and stuff like that. I know sometimes they have a little smart mouth or stuff like that, but women, mother nature, you know? They the one that birthed me. I got a lot of respect for my mom. Uh, shit, as far as the artist or? Any artist, any genre. Man, I, I, I love to make one with Nuja Bees, man. He went crazy, man. I mean, it's just so calm and relaxing, man. So I, I, I love to make some with Nuja Bees, man. But RIP to him, man. We can coexist. You know, his song was on that Samurai Champloo. That Shiki uh, no Uta. Yeah, that went crazy. I like him a lot, man. You, you know, man, I love nature. And like you said, spirituality. I'm really in tune with myself and just a calm mind. Say, I like being calm. His, his music just put your mind in like sunny days, like a calm mindset. You know, it just, it's real relaxing. I love his music. I repeat to him. Man, animals play a big part up in nature. You know, animals, some people think animals stupid because they can't speak English. And I hate seeing animals getting get abused and shit like that. But animals play a big part. And man, I just love animals though. I used to watch Animal Planet, Nature. I used to go to sleep, the nature sounds, tropical rainforest sounds. I just like to see them in their natural habitat. Just like functioning like humans. Me and the other rappers. You know, I, I'm, I'm just being myself, you know? I just be myself, I keep it real. If I watch anime, I'm gonna make a song about anime. If I play video games, that's what I'm, I'm gonna do. I love animals, I'm gonna put it in my songs. I just like make music for myself, you know? First, when I was first started doing music, it wasn't for other people to hear. You know, my brother them, and my pops thought I should do it as a career. But I made music for myself, and I think people, self-preservation, need to have that. Uh, I think everybody just being they self. Everybody, you really can't tell nobody how music is, is, should sound. You know, if it's, if that's what they, they ears like, that's what they ears like, but, uh, I think, man, really, people just need to accept people for who they are. You know, it's always gonna be new things. Things always go change. So I think we just need to just get over that. You know what I'm saying? It's room for everybody. It's room for everybody in this big world, man. Just let people live. Uh, my message is to the youth is, don't get too caught up in social media, all of facades and flexing and stuff like that, man. Just stay true to yourself. You know, I know this stuff can make you suicidal. Probably everybody is not meant to be a rapper or you can be an actor or something like that. But the internet, it's a great opportunity to get you on with Instagram, Twitter, all that stuff. Just don't get caught up into all the people flexing money and all this materialism. Yeah, I used to be suicidal. Hey man, all I gotta say, man, 
Life is beautiful, man. It's always gonna get worse. You know, it's people in other countries getting their heads chopped off, you know, getting burnt in fires and stuff like that. It can always be worse, man. Just follow your dreams like I did. I was suicidal at one point. Every, the grass ain't green just cause I'm making, got a little jury of stuff like that. That don't mean I'm always happy. So life can always get worse and don't look at other people's situations. Man, just, just follow your dreams, really. Shout out to Montreality for this great interview, believe it. Montreality Show. It's basically putting all the negatives and positives, keeping it balanced, you know what I'm saying? And then the 14, the 14s are upside down because they going into infinity, 14 to infinity. All the good and all the bad, you feel me, combined all its energy into infinity.